Okay, hey guys, welcome back to House Farm. It's another sunny day, and so that means we are going to move ahead with our garden building project. If you've missed the previous videos, we're doing this in steps. I'll link them below. You can go back and watch the whole thing if you want to see. We're transforming this area behind me into a no-till garden bed with a greenhouse. That's going to be the greenhouse. In the middle, we've actually had the greenhouse for several years. It's not wrapped right now, but it will be. And the, we had our garden behind this white fence. It was a bad place for garden for a multitude of reasons I talked about in the other videos. So we're moving it. That fence is going to come down. That area will just be grass or maybe we'll let the woods grow up over it so we don't have to mow it. And then the garden is going to be here behind me, which is I am standing right at the entryway of our mud room. So it'll be very close to the house, to the door that goes right into the kitchen. Be super convenient. So we're building this as a no-till garden bed. I'll show you what we've done so far, and then we're gonna see what we can get done today. So far what I've done is I've cleared the area. So right here we see all that like mulching chips that used to be a chicken quarantine coop for new chickens or new, actually any new animals that we run on the farm. You're supposed to quarantine them before they join your larger group of animals. And so we had the structure looked a lot like that. It had a blue tarp over it. It sat right there. That was like a year ago. We've moved that structure out and just left that bare ground there. And we just generally cleared up any pots that we had a bunch of pots and tires over here that we used like raised beds. Over there used to be a cottage garden area and that's all been cleared up. So we cleared out the land. That took quite a little bit of time. Um, and then we started putting down the cardboard. We're only putting down cardboard areas where there is grass. No reason to put cardboard down here because all the grass has already been smothered. This is some really nice material under here. Look how nice that looks from being composted under the under the um, shed thing that was here. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, we are going to now try to do the rest of our cardboard if we can. If you were watching and you know me, you know that I do not set specific goals for each day when it comes to a large project because as a mom of a lot of little kids, I find that discourages me because I can never achieve the big goals a lot of times because I'm going to get interrupted all the time while I'm doing this. I just expect that. And so I set time goals. So today's time goal is actually not a specific time goal. I'm going to work until the baby wakes up from the nap. And when I say baby, I actually mean the three babies. There's three of them, three little guys inside taking naps. The big girls are all working on a surprise painting project, which we'll show you later. It's kind of cool making something for the little man. And so I'm gonna work until nap time's over. That might be 15 minutes, that might be two hours. I don't know, just going to work towards the final goal. And so we're gonna get started by moving cardboard. I'm gonna move it in small increments and then dump compost on top to keep it weighed down. And then in whatever day it is that we get all the cardboard laid down, we will start filling out this whole area with that compost. And again, if you're new here, we have no large equipment. I have a shovel, I have my muscles, and that's about it. We're going to do this all by hand, which is why it's taking us multiple episodes over several, several weeks to build this. This is just brute force grunt labor. I do not have a tractor. I'm going to pull around the corner to move all this composted material. It's got to be done one wheelbarrow at a time. But I'm doing this and I'm vlogging it because I want you all to see that if you want to do something, you can do it, even if you don't have the really big equipment. If you have a little bit of time and you have the will, there is a way. Oh, I also wanted to add... I know I'm talking so much. I will get to work. Um, I, I made a video several months ago and it was about just feeling encouraged about doing things myself. If you're looking at this and you are uh, um, physically able to do this work, I'll say that. Not everybody and we know that because we have a child who would not be physically able as an adult to do this kind of work. But if you are healthy and physically able to do this kind of work, I just encourage you to get out there and try. There is no fail if you're out there trying your best. I was the type of person earlier it, you know, in our marriage, first 12, 13, 14 of those years, I would have expected Sam or waited on Sam to have time to help me with something like this. And then he's busy working right now. He's working and in school, he would not have time to do something like this. And it just wouldn't have gotten done. And I really had to come to the realization that if things want to get done and they're important to me, if he doesn't have time to help with them, I can figure out a way to do it, even if I'm not as big or as strong. And it might take me much longer, which it is, but I am capable you are capable. It's more about figuring out how to do it with the resources that you have and just taking it one step at a time on these big projects. Okay, now we really will get started. Okay, first step, let's grab more cardboard. We're going to drag it out here and we're gonna lay it down. 
I go ahead and rip the cardboard open. I know, I could go get scissors, but I don't feel like walking back in the house to find them, so I just rip them apart. We wanna spread the cardboard out long ways so we can cover as much area as possible. Leaving it folded up in a box is just wasting a lot of um, surface area of the cardboard. Once we get a decent amount of the area laid down, we're gonna grab our trusty old wheelbarrow and lug it on up to the goat pen. I already have old bedding shoveled out along the side I'm going to be using, and we can just throw that in the wheelbarrow and bring it back down. As always, make sure you actually unplug the fence before going in. That's a lesson you learn once. Also, make sure you look at yourself before you get yourself on YouTube because man, I did not do a good job. Oh, and I didn't do a good job again. Let's try that one more time. Okay, now that we're fashionably correct, we're gonna go into the pen with our shovel and we're just gonna send out our bedding. It's a little bit heavy because it's been a little wet, but it's not too bad. And once we get the wheelbarrow mostly filled up, we're gonna drag it back over to our garden area and we're gonna dump it on top of the cardboard. We aren't trying to cover the whole area. Obviously, this will all be covered in that old bedding pretty soon. Right now, I'm just trying to weigh the cardboard down so it doesn't blow away if there should be wind in the next couple of weeks. It also lets the cardboard get a head start on smothering the grass. This is the most awkward wheelbarrow I have ever seen. It only has two wheels. Maybe it's not even technically a wheelbarrow, but it was here when we bought the farm and that makes it free and therefore I use it. All right, and we repeat steps. More bedding out the fence. Victor can't help but say hi. There he is, furry little guy. He smells really bad too. <laughs> and we'll drag this bedding back down and repeat and dump it over, cover up that cardboard, weigh it down so it doesn't blow away on us. Okay, Mikey just came out. Let me know that people have woken up. So. Just about 20 minutes <laughs> that's okay we got progress in the right direction we don't let ourselves get discouraged my hair tie broke uh we don't let ourselves get discouraged because we're making steps in the right direction part of being mom means you just get interrupted a lot all right let's see this final project you ladies made here is the leftover massacre of the project here's the clean annie who required a bath after working on the project i was gonna take a bath a shower. You still got paint on your face, Annie. All right, Pat, you ready? <laughs> Just get it on. All right, here's his project. Ready, look, Pat. Vroom, vroom. And then this is why you were saving it. Vroom, vroom. Fireplace. Make it go vroom. Vroom, vroom. Looks like you like it, girls. Vroom, vroom. You do it. Oh, can you go vroom? Okay, we got stuff inside. Little people are subtle. Little girls are playing with that sand thing. This is like two hours later. Um, Patton's just playing this packing plate. I'm gonna try to get another 30 minutes of work done on this garden. Let's see what we can get done. We are quickly losing daylight. Yes, it is substantially colder than it was two hours ago. I'm going to get more work done. Gotta take advantage of all the time you got when they're busy and I, you know, don't have other things to do. Just doing more cardboard and more bedding. We're just gonna get as far as we can today. We're slowly but surely making progress across the back of the greenhouse. Let's go grab some more of that bedding and dump it on top. And hey, let's go ahead and repeat that one more time. This time, maybe with a few cute helpers along the way. Cardboard. Wheelbarrow and bedding. Okay, there we have it. That's as far as I can get today. I've actually run out of cardboard. So thanks to everybody who donated cardboard. I will be calling you again, seeing if you have any more. So got some people who have connections can help me out with some boxes. And then we gotta finish. So left to do, I'll show you. I have here to the compost pile. And then right where Micah is standing, that area needs covered too between the greenhouse and the white fence and then it's done and we're ready to just cover it completely with the composted um, matter from the shed slow and steady wins the race we still got like six weeks until first planting date and several months until like last frost date so lots of time we're just gonna keep doing one step at a time to get to our final goal thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time